Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Database Administration Series. Right now, we are in our lecture number 9, week 5, and the topic uh, for today is the part 2 of the review of database concept. Now, let's proceed. So, the first slide we have here is that what is data definition language? or the DDL. The DDL allows the user to create and restructure database objects such as um, creating table, naming the table, deleting the table uh, name, and uh, it's more on the name itself. So the definition is what you call the name. The data is the table you're going to create. Okay, next. Some of the most fundamental DDL commands are create table, alter table, drop in the table, create index, alter index, drop index, and the last we have create view and drop view. So you will notice we have table, creating table, or it's the table name itself that you can create, alter and drop. You're going to index. It is also on the the definition itself upon creating the field if there is an option there that you can put an index to such as a table itself or such as field and the last is the view okay so this is something like uh, you can view the the table itself uh, the field itself the the variable itself that's the idea Next, what is Data Manipulation Language or DML? DML allows the user to manipulate data within objects of relational databases. And this is popular because all of the system we use in computers, we use manipulation. Something like insert, edit, or modify, change. So those are things that manipulate the data. So let's proceed. The three basic DML commands are insert, update, and delete. So insert in terms of inserting record, update such as saving or uh, modifying, and the last is delete or removing. Now what is a data query language, DQL? DQL allows the user to select the data or a group of data. The base command is select. That's why SQL programming uh, states only on the data query language. Now what is a data control language, DCL? The DCL allows the user to create objects related to the user, access and also control the distribution of privileges among users. So such as password, and encryption. Some data control commands are as follow alter password, grant, revoke, create synonyms. Something like uh, the password, change password, access granted, password error, and uh, modify the password. That is what it has been mentioned. Next, what is a transactional, transactional control commands or TCC? The TCC allows the user to manage database transactions such as if you are in the hardware, you can check out how many transactions in terms of queuing uh, has been or had been processed on that day. And another is that uh, you can identify also the 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 total or the summation of the sales those are in the transaction control commands some commands are as follows commit rollback save point set transaction so commit something like as uh, you are fully aware of what you're going to pay rollback if there is uh, changes uh, something like a factory the de de defect so the 
the buyer can give it back and that is what we call rollback in programming in a database next is save point something like uh, you're going to save all those um, product or items they're going to buy and next is set transaction if there's um, a person who are going to transact the business so they can transact such as companies next what is integrity constraints integrity constraints are used to ensure accuracy and consistency of data in relational database this is something like uh, very hard but due to technology uh, we can provide now integrity constraints but in manual system this is very hard um, I experienced this that by by freehand there's a, what you call a written errors okay another is something like 10 to 100 okay with the decimal point that is one of the problem that's why if we're going to ask me is there is a there is an integrity constraints in manual uh, 50 50 50 percent okay but in computer it could be a hundred percent because it will be typed and it will be displayed on the screen and then it will be printed so there are three process of integrity constraints in the database system what are the types of integrity constraints first is the primary key constraints the unique constraints foreign key constraints not null constraints and the check constraints now these constraints are considered to be the priority okay for example uh, the priority you're going to put in your table as on the field is something like the transaction id something like that so you can put that into a primary key next what is normalization normalization is a process of reducing data redundancy in a database so uh, it means to say that once you type no need to type it again another is in the table itself there should be only one field uh, and that is considered to be your primary key or unique key then on the other tables uh, it's very different there is no such uh, field name like that on the other tables and that is what you call normalization but they are going to connect to each other okay with the relational command next we have the different levels of normal forms or normalization first normal form 1nf second normal form 2nf third normal forms and 3nf um, this is something like what you're going to do if there are fields plenty of fields on the table then on the other table there are also plenty of fields but there are redundant uh, names so it could be categorized as first normal form if you're going to describe the difference of those two similar fields in the two different tables that's it next what are the advantages of normalization first normalization is better of our database organization second reduction of redundant data third data consistency within the database fourth flexible database design fifth efficient database security handling and the last enforces concept of referential integrity now the the last one is the hard one why because I, as i mentioned you're going to refer it only exactly only one name on the field itself okay that's why it, it, it's uh, put here enforces concept now that's all for today congratulations you successfully finish our lecture number nine thank you and good luck